need glasses. Sounds like this is going to feed back a little bit. Yes, the vocal mic. Vocal mic's plenty loud. Maybe the spacecraft landed and the Martians are operating the sound. No, it's, it's our own equipment, unfortunately. No, we bought it in Jersey. We did. Out behind Denny's restaurant, some guy went, hey, psst. Want to buy some sound equipment? Ah, mama killed a chicken. She thought it was a duck. She put it on a table with his legs sticking up. And Papa broke his glasses when he fell down drunk. Tried to drown the kitty cat, turned out to be a skunk. Yeah. Turn up the microphone on the guitar, yeah. Gotta watch what you're doing. Don't you know? Gotta watch what you're doing. But she fell for men like a chainsaw tree. She listened to their lies, she was fooled by their charms. Now she's sitting with the baby in her arms. You gotta watch what you're doing. Hey, why'd you turn down the guitar mic? Why'd you turn down the guitar microphone? Uh, Archie? Somebody out there? Why'd you just turn down the guitar microphone? Well, it was it was loud. Now it's not loud. Hey, watch what yeah, watch what you're doing. Couldn't be better. What? 
God? Of course I believe in God. Sin? Yeah. I heard of it. I even know some people who've done it. Some people smile. They seem all right. Then later in life, you find out they're more like angels of light. Try to love everybody, but don't be blind. Some kind of people try to mess up your mind. You gotta watch what you're doing. Sometimes I just blow my throat out because I can't hear myself Guitar. when the band's on. Guitar's what? Guitar's thirsty. The guitar's what? Thirsty. Guitar's thirsty? Thank you. That's very helpful. <clears throat> Larry. I'm going to just sing quiet, and if you can't hear it, um, you should be able to. The man in the parking lot said this worked perfect. is dead, that he doesn't exist, except inside your head, I wonder how many are going to be surprised, when they look straight up, and see him coming through the skies, you gotta watch what you're doing, you gotta know where you're going, do you know where you're going, you gotta watch what you're doing, you gotta watch Somebody after you. You may not believe it, but it's true. <laughs> this is the guy that showed me this PA. What is it? Larry, I want you to know how much we love you and your ministry. And the people, all of us as brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to present you with $932 to go home see Sarah and your little boy. Thank you. Two. That's very nice. Well, see, I had I had my tour all planned that when the baby came, I'd be there. But then he came two months early. Well, actually, I was there when he came. But I wasn't supposed to be there. I mean, he was supposed to come later, but then he came two months early, so that I was there. But then, when he was supposed to be here, then I wasn't there, so I had to switch my schedule around. So that's why I'm not there right now, because I'm here. <laughs> He's fine, too. A lot of people think if a, if a baby's born early, that it's like, is he going to live? You know, premature babies, it doesn't mean that they're, like, <clears throat> going to die. God <clears throat> has done a lot of things we don't understand. And scientists are really proud of themselves, you know, that for making it so premature babies grow up big and strong. Really, it's God that does it. You think of this. These scientists that are always bragging about, you know, creating life in a test tube. Scientists have never created life. They can't do it. You can plant a seed and you can't make it grow. It either grows or it doesn't. And no farmer's going to be stupid enough like some scientists to go on and brag and say, I made this corn grow. Because farmers know that sometimes they plant just as many seeds as they did the year before. Just as many, you know, tons of seeds in, in all their fields. And yet they don't get that many ears of corn back or wheat or whatever. So no farmer's going to brag 
but scientists do. They say, well, we've created life in a test tube. <clears throat> and all they do is they take an ovum out of a, a womb and they, they freeze it for as long as they want to, apparently, and, and, uh, and it fertilize it. And then uh, a child does come from it. And then they're so impressed that they could freeze it, they could remove it from where it should be, and they could put it back or put it in somebody else, and then a baby's born. Hey, that has nothing to do with them so much as it does to do with God. God has created the force of life so strong in even something that you can't see, sperm in an ovum, that of course it's going to grow up and be something beautiful, even if a scientist tampers with it a little. It's to God's credit that life can be fooled around with, and yet a normal person with ten, you know, fingers and toes can come out. I think God is wonderful. You can take seeds for years and stick them in a, in a storage, you know, warehouse, and then plant them, and they grow. Scientists don't know why. God knows. God knows. <clears throat> Well, I'm not going to finish singing this song because every, everything's been happening during this song. <laughs> you got to watch what you're doing. I try to remember. I try to remember that I got to watch what I'm doing. I stop singing this song. I'll sing an easier song. This is about the end of the world. This is a theme song from Star Wars. Chapter 12, where Luke Skywalker finds out who his real father is. He's an unidentified flying object. You will see him in the air. He's an unidentified flying object. You will drop your hands and stare. into an old friend of mine and, and I found out something I thought for a few years wasn't right that there was just a misunderstanding and it's really nice to uh, be able to stop thinking about something you know and when, when you have friends 
You should give them the benefit of the doubt, and you should talk to them, and you should ask them to explain, but all along in the back of your heart you should say, you know, I, I have faith in them. And of course, the Bible doesn't say we should have faith in people. It says we should have faith in God. It doesn't say we should even have faith in ourselves, because we can't trust ourselves. I mean, you know you can't trust other people. I mean, you've learned that. I mean, I'm not trying to say you can't trust anybody. I'm trying to say you can't, like, say I bet my life on this person's behavior. Because you can't even bet your own life on your own behavior. We're just human beings. And we'll say, oh, I would never do that. And then we do it. Paul said the things he didn't want to do, he did. And the things he didn't want to do, yeah, and the things he wanted to do, he didn't even do those things. You know what I mean? We're just unreliable. We know what we need sometimes, and then we don't even do it. It's like, a, okay, a Christmas or a... I'm really excited to have seen my friend, I, and I'm just thinking about it, so I figure if I talk about it, then I'll stop thinking about it. But like, it, it, we are not the best judge of what's good for us. Although we think we, well, who else would be? But, you know, like at Christmas or Thanksgiving, if you're having a big meal with all your relatives, and sometimes you feel full. You know, you say, oh, I couldn't eat anything else. I'll blow up, you know, I'll explode. Uh, okay, well, just give, just give me another little, just a tiny little piece of uh, turkey. <coughs> you know, or is this some more mashed potatoes? I, I guess I got some more of this stuff. <coughs> yeah, give me another drink. <coughs> and then, after having known you were completely full, you eat some more. And you know that feeling when you try to stand up? And you think you're going to die? Well, see, that's a real simple example of, of not doing what you know you should do. Or sometimes you, you go, oh, I should go to bed. Yeah, but this movie on TV, it's just so boring. I think I'll finish watching it. <laughs> <clears throat> and then the next day, you really don't feel so good two hours later. And you have to get up and go to work, or go to school, go to church. So a lot of times we, we don't do what makes sense. We're not, we're not, you know, we can't really trust ourselves to do the right thing. Especially when you're tempted by something. You know, you better figure out ahead of time that something's right or wrong. Because if you're staring at temptation, sometimes it looks real good. You go, well, I can't think of any reasons why I shouldn't. Okay, I'll do this. And then you find out later, yeah, you shouldn't have done it. You knew it all along. <coughs> I'm going to move back a little bit. See if that stops this ringing. <coughs> Every hall is set up differently. And in, in apparently when they built all these, they didn't ask anybody. They just made them the way they wanted to. See, there's that proscenium there thing. That, that, that looks like concrete and metal. The end of it looks... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's... It's like covered metal, spackled metal. <laughs> There's a little balcony. You can't see this balcony, huh? No people are up there. Just lights and stuff. sound like it should? Does it sound like a guitar? Sounds good? Okay, I won't worry about it. <clears throat> I was um, surprised that uh, we went to play. I can't, I shouldn't talk. Well, no, I have to tell you. Oh, I could always pretend I was going to. I'll just switch. I'll tell you something else and you'll think that was it. We just played with this heavy metal band a couple nights ago. It was real funny. How funny was it? Hmm? How funny was it? It was real funny. What is this, Johnny Carson show? <laughs> no, it's just all the smoke bombs and stuff. <clears throat> and the tight pants, and you know. They stood with like one foot over there, one foot over there. My friend Bud, he had his little boy there to see us, and his little boy said, you know, that band looks like girls. And Bud says, well, Larry and his band, they have long hair. 
Yeah, but they don't wear makeup and, and, and perf you know, and earrings and, and all that glitter. These people had, they sprinkled like glitter all over their arms. You know, like glitter, like if you give kindergartners, <laughs> sprinkle on their, their paper to make the stars in the sky or something. Anyway, it's funny being with a um, heavy metal band. They knew four chords, so it was cool. Yeah. <laughs>